Hi guys! Today I'm going to be teaching you guys about the play tectonics theory. Um, three quick disclaimers. These are not to scale. These are much bigger in reality. Uh, secondly, I'm going to be covering four things. The, the section will be what the play tectonics are, what the uh, motions are. This is going to be examples in the world. This section will be the evidence to support his theory and this is the how his theory works right. and lastly this is this background knowledge that the person that came up with the plate tectonics theory is Alfred Wegener and he was a German meteorologist who came up with this theory All right, let's get to the first one the first thing we're going to be going over is a hotspot a hotspot is where when a chunk of magma comes it doesn't necessarily break the crust but it does hit the crust and occasionally makes volcanoes or mountains or islands next we're going over the transform boundary the, now these stones represent continents being moved past each other why it is called a transform boundary I do not know and yeah Third, we have a converger boundary, when two tectonic plates converge. Once again, the stones are made for terps and continents. And lastly, divergent boundaries, which are when they diverge. Next, we are going to be looking at the, ha the examples. Firstly, we have Mount Everest, which is caused by a converger boundary which is what because when two convergent plates converge all of the excess rock in the middle gets pushed up which creates mount mountains which is not why Mount Everest is a thing next we have the Hawaiian Islands which are caused by hotspots now like I said earlier hotspots do not necessarily always make volcanoes Occasionally, they can make, okay, maybe not occasionally, but they can, however, just break the layer, or just push up layers, which is why the islands are just merely dense in a metal tray, if you can imagine that. If you use something else to push a dent in the tray, that's basically what these islands are. Next, we have the bridge in Iceland, which must be made longer every year because this gap gets longer by two diverging boundaries which is why this pit gets longer have, which is why they have to make this bridge longer lastly we have the San Andreas transform boundary which is very slowly but steadily moving the two plates around moving houses and everything else on the plates around Next, we're going to be going over the evidence of Alfred Wegener's theory. Now, his first claim of evidence was that the two plates fit together almost like a puzzle. If you've ever, ever looked at South America or Africa, they fit together really, really well. His second piece of theory was similar geological features were found across the continents, which could merely be a coincidence, but they were a, they were evident evidently found at the same exact time, not found at the same exact time, but they were proved to be around the same time, and are the exact same geological feature, and are the same exact thing across, which could mean that they were once combined, letting the rock or geological features or gems, etc., etc grow together. Mm. Next we have the climate cl climate evidence which is caused by glacier scratches. Now glaciers as you probably know are big large ice chunks that scratched this mm. mountain. Now the since these continents are apart it would not and in a tropical climate that means that there's no reason for a glacier to be in the tropical climate. Now, this means that 
the only way for the glacier to have been here would have if the temperatures somehow moved around and made the certain spots colder and certain places hotter. Or the continents could have once been to moved to a different location in a colder location which got scratches in the which caused glaciers to scratch the rock. Oh. Lastly, animal fossils and plants are found across oceans. Now this includes the Glossopterus plant and the Mesosaurus, whose fossils when went extinct when they went extinct, fossils were found across continents. Now when you put the continents together, as mentioned earlier, like a puzzle, these certain fossils were found in similar locations. Now this proves that they could have once been in a sim in a singular location and eventually died off in a similar location. That is the evidence to support Alfred Wegener's theory. Next we have the how it is done. I just need an aerial view of this. Turn a little bit that way. All right. So the how is, oh, I forgot to set this up. <coughs> sorry, excuse me, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me set this up real quick. All right, so this is the how. Now, if you imagine the minecart as a convection current, the convection current rises and lower and go, goes to the bottom of the mantle. Now, the convection currents reside in the mantle, and as I said, rise and fall. Now, they fall because after they rise to the crust, they become cooler, making them denser, making them heavier, which is why they go back to the core. Now, at the core, it heats up, and after it heats up, it gets less dense, becoming lighter, which makes it go back to the crust, which creates an endless loop of going up and down and up and down. Now, how is this relevant at all to how the continents move, you might ask? Well, that is because when it reaches to the crust, it rubs against the top. So when it rubs against the top, it pushes the continents around, which makes it move. And that is pretty much as simple as I can put it. All right. Now, the last segment that we're going to be talking about is how it affects the environment and people. Well, it can affect animals or environments, bringing certain plants to other parts of the world, or certain species to other parts of the world. It can affect the people when boundaries make earthquakes. It can destroy homes, causing very expensive repairs. It can make volcanoes. It can make mountains. It can make islands, which affects the environment pretty vastly, if you ask me. And that is pretty much a basic rundown of the plate tectonics theory. Once again, just to repeat myself, was is made by Alfred Wegener, a German meteorologist. Now that's gonna be all for today, I th believe so. So I hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye.